And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Angwin Parrot Field here in California. We are making some last minute changes here to accommodate uh, a couple of weird problems I had. And we were initially thinking about being in P3D world, but um, I'll explain later on. But we're going to be taking part this afternoon in the graffiti summer fly in out here in uh, I believe it's NorCal we're going to be flying from Angwin Parrot to Modesto and then from Modesto into San Jose so we're going to kind of progressively get larger with our airfields and we're going to see if we can sneak the 150 one of the smallest planes around into some of these bigger airfields should be fun let's go <laughs> Isolate plans sometimes. They just don't work out, right? I'll talk a little bit about just some glitchy, quirky things going on. Scenery, mainly, over in P3D, which is kind of a bummer because I have some fun stuff in P3D still that uh, I had planned on using, but unfortunately, it's just, uh, it's just not meant to be, I guess, today, and so that's okay. We we still need to test out the V-Flight Air Cessna 150, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be departing up here out of Angwin Parrot, and as you can see, it's nice and green, which means turbulence, turbulence, turbulence. Don't have uh, a whole lot of moisture to report, but we are going to be running into some choppy air, so we will do the best we can. And uh, let's go ahead and flight plan a little bit together. Angwin Parrot to the southwest down here, Modesto. By the way, found a really nice, really nice uh, Modesto freeware scenery and uh, excited about that one. I, I, then I was going to go into Monterey. Monterey is the other uh, controlled airfield for this event, but my Monterey scenery has a weird kind of, uh, oh, like a, like a weird edge on one side of the runway. So I decided to look for something else kind of in the region and I found San Jose International Airport and I thought, ah, you know what? Might be fun to see if we can get into an international airport in a 150. It's been a while since we've done something crazy like that. But uh, I think pretty straightforward flight plan. I think what we'll do is grab the Santa Rosa VOR and we'll tune in that 077 and that'll intercept us here and it'll take us uh, out to the west that will uh, we can pick up that's the Sacramento VOR which is on a 257 outbound and then from there we actually have a little bit of a choice I think what we'll do though is we'll pick up we'll go toward the Linden VOR now again we don't have to fly an IFR flight plan we, we certainly it's I mean even though it's um, turbulent out it it's certainly a, a, a VFR type of a day but I uh, just actually flew a route yesterday and uh, did did some VFR work it was a lot of fun and I, I need to I need to practice my IFR stuff just to just to stay current and I also want to make sure that the VORs and everything are working in this plane and I'm not super familiar with how to use this very very basic autopilot <laughs> who you call cat lady downwind sim yes i picked up a couple more airplanes today but one of them was freeware so they're the big news the the aeroworks dc3 well c47 has been updated so i did download that and uh, that that's going to be a lot of fun to mess around with all right but i think that'll be a good just simple 
I did finally got a haircut. Yeah, I it's it was a long it was like a six month, uh, long time coming. I have no idea how fast this plane can go. I'm gonna just put it in 80. I I don't I think that maybe is a little on the low side, but that's okay. Uh, let's um, let's see here. Oh, I'm gonna I have stuff turned on still. My oh, hang on guys, I forgot I still have. Still have some announcements turned on here. I forgot. Let's take those off. Timers, I guess. Typically, is what you call them. Um, I'll go ahead. I'll keep the. I'll keep the new friends are always welcome, because I'm friendly. I'm a nice, friendly guy. All right. So five thousand. It looks like we've got an altitude restriction. So since we're heading west, we'll say six thousand. And this is 2,300. Yeah, so if we go up to 6,000, then we'll be in business. Six, not flight level 6,000, just 6,000. Okay. That should work. Let's connect to xpilot again if you uh, want to join you're welcome to downwind sim i think you're working though right or are you finally finally done working for a little while i can't remember oh bummer well i mean not a bummer let me rephrase that i'm sorry that you're missing out because you have to work but i am happy that you're working so in between events okay very cool very cool well you can stream vicariously through me like I often have to through you guys. Cessna 150. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a little bit... Uh, I will truly be the cat lady of Cessna 150s if the... if the I think it's the Just Flight one. That's the only one I don't have. If Just Flight throws out uh, one of these on the flash sale, then I will have my complete collection of Cessna 150s in X-Plane. Okay, IFR to Oscar three. By the way, if you're trying, if you're wanting to join me, to Oscar three is Angwin Parrot and Kilo Mike Oscar Delta Modesto, and we might as well put in Sierra Juliet Charlie San Jose for the uh, alternate. This is what this is about an hour thirteen minutes. Okay, I have a totally full tank of gas right now, completely topped it off, four hours of fuel. Might even be a little bit more, because I'll have a, a bit of a tailwind, I'm sure. And so, wait, a, wait a second, wait a second. I can't file 6,000. I'm going eastbound, guys. 5,000. 5,000. Yeah, I'm glad I caught that before I filed that and had to make the... Altitude correction of shame. Okay, we're not doing... This is not a virtual USA Flying Club event, so uh, we'll just do our usual thanks to the ATC and stop by and say hello at Twitch TV slash Melvin Leroy. That's the handle. Okay, IFR, we are slant alpha equipment, IFR slant alpha, not heavy, Angwin Parrot, Modesto, San Jose, we're departing here in the next 10 minutes, and it's probably a little bit, that's probably a little bit optimistic, we still have to start up, hour 13, 4 hours, cruise is 80, at 5,000, because we're eastbound, I should actually put the route in here, that might be helpful to the controller, And then remarks are set. All right, that looks good. File the flight plan. And we are uncontrolled right now, but we will be picking up. As soon as we get going, we'll be picking up pop-up by far. And who will we talk to? We'll 
we do have a Unicom and a CTAF of 2300, but we'll use 2280. That's the still the universal C, CTAF for X-Plane. Um, there's my ATIS. <laughs> hmm. Who the heck do I talk to? Not showing me here. It's not showing me. Well, I'm just missing it somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Let's just take a look at where we are on the map. See if we can ascertain from there. So, Anguin Parrot is up here. That's probably us. Yep. So, we'll start out, it looks like, with... Yeah, Oakland Center. They may hand us off to NorCal. That's where we're going to be heading anyway. Um, we'll get we'll get going. Like I say, once we get airborne, we will request pop-up IFR, and we'll see if we can fly this baby. Do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. I do have fuel loaded. So let's just jump in and let's take a look. Just refresh my memory. Carb heat, cold, mixture, full, rich. All right, carb heat is, just double check. Carb heat's in, so it's cold, yep. Mixture, full, rich. The primer, oh. I did not update the beta down one sim. I'm a little a little freaked out about that stuff right now. It's pretty warm out right now, so I wonder if I could get away without without doing it. What is what is our let's just see here. Live weather. Um yeah, nineteen Celsius. So yeah, it's saying like three to four if we need okay, so we'll do three. Did you update, I assume, or have you left it alone? Um, throttle, we'll crack it uh, about a quarter. And clear prop, hauler out, check around, make sure everything's clear. We do need to... Oh, I didn't have the battery on. Okay, here we go. A negatory. I must have flooded it. I have the bad habit of flooding my engine. Try one more time here. Hmm. Pump that throttle just a little bit. Negatory, negatory, negatory. All right. Yep. Waiting on my plane, yeah. Or on my pain. Not a bad idea. Brakes are set. I swear I know the flooded start procedure on this plane better than I know the um <laughs> regular procedure by the way if you flood it's down there you just you pull the mixture back you open the throttle wide open and you just hold the ignition until it fires up um okay well welcome this is the v-flight air cessna 150 it's a just a beautiful little plane and should be a ton of fun flying around uh Northern California here. Okay, let's get back into low route. 
We said Santa Rosa, which is 1300. That's going to be the first four tack that we try to chase, and we're going to be chasing that on a 077 outbound. That's going to be 077 outbound. We will we will squawk 1200 until we get our clearance. Put that on standby. We'll be 2280. There we go. I'm going to let uh, some other guys jump in to the new X-Plane beta and see. I, I feel like with my problems with with X-Pilot that I have my more than my fair share of variables I'm trying to work through right now. So I'm going to let some others cut trail. All right, winds 245 at 3. Pretty nice day. Nice and clear. What do we have here? Um, 299 or 3. Yeah, severe clear, as our friend Jet Pilot Cinnamon would say. 299 or 3, that's pretty close to what we already have. One, two, three. 2,800 feet, so fairly high altitude wise. And then we're going to be leaning her out as we climb. And. Okay, let's see here. Beacon was already on. Pedo heat, I shouldn't need. Strobe was already on. Landing lights, holy cow, everything. What in the world? Uh, nav lights, those can be on. I don't really need the beacon on just yet. Well, the strobe I don't need on just yet. I'll leave the beacon on. I guess I didn't remember that this was a constant state aircraft. So, that's kind of cool. Um, all right, so uh, let's sync up. Do we have to sync up the... I'm trying to remember, do we have to sync up the uh, compass? Seems like we might have to. There we go. Synced up. Yep, we're heading west. Heading west, we're going to be we're going to be departing to the south, and uh, no, excuse me, we'll be departing to the north. The winds are light, so we can do that. Um, Two forty-five. Yeah, winds are only three knots. We could technically back taxi all the way down and and turn around, but I think we'll go ahead and just depart to the north. Um, and then we will fly a left-hand traffic pattern and come around to about a 100 heading. That 100 heading will help us intersect that Victor 494. Just one more quick peek. We'll depart to the north, make a left-hand traffic pattern, come back down here and intercept this 494 outbound and uh, we'll see how see how she goes okay the autopilot the autopilot the autopilot definitely not my not my forte here I'm gonna have to just kinda tweak it and mess with it as we go and I may end up just hand flying the the VOR needle if, if I have to. I've done that before, but there is a way to track there is a way to track a radial, and I'm going to try to do that. I, I've looked at it, and I the documentation makes sense, so I'm going to I'm going to give it a shot. But it's been a it's been a while. It's been a minute, as the kids would say, since I've done it, and so you know you know how it is. Look at this. I already have over a thousand hours in this baby downwind sim can you believe it angwin parrot traffic cessna 11816 we're going to be taxiing to the runway northbound vfr departure angwin parrot all right this is an interesting sort of 
configuration because the like the taxiway and the ramp area are all off to one side and you just taxi straight out <laughs> to to the runway and you're already on runway heading it's really a, a pretty area and I had a just a really nice scenery from turbulent designs over on p3d it was a freeware scenery and it's uh, when I went in to check it out today it was not rendering correctly and I'm not sure what's happened but the turbulent design site is no longer a thing and the forums are no longer a thing and so I'm thinking that they have either ceased to exist or maybe they've merged with somebody else but uh, this little pet project of theirs that was done several years ago is really not not being supported anymore so I didn't want to didn't want to use it but because uh, it looked terrible but I did want to fly out of here and I thought you know let's just see what X X plane has maybe they have something similar okay trim is set let's get everything else ready to go nav lights good strobe landing lights can come on Yep, trim is ready to go. Ooh, how about we get the gen going? And we'll turn the transponder to ALT. Let's just do a little quick run up here. 1700, mag check. Yeah, that looks good. Let's lean you out for best performance. Okay, that looks really good. Fuel confirmed. Oil pressures and temperatures look good. Making good amps. Suction is good. All my comms are tuned. Everything is set. Get ready to go flying. Angling parrot traffic. Cessna 816 departing runway 34 VFR will be making a left hand pattern departing the area to the southwest. Angling parrot. The only reason why I want to depart left pattern is I just want to take a look at how they've uh, how the auto gen has rendered the little town area here it's kind of a cool spot it opens up to a pretty good size valley here the Kern Valley there's 60 little uh, back pressure here and we're flying Whoa, getting shoved around a little bit here. Just about didn't clear those trees. All right, so we'll go straight out. We'll take a look at the valley. The valley's nice, it really is. I want to spin around and see what the see what the town looks like. And there's another little airport down there. Be kind of a fun one to uh, to model. Actually called Kern Valley Airfield. And so maybe one of these days we'll pop in ourselves and make a little scenery pack. All right, we'll go ahead and pull the. Actually, no, we did, we went flaps zero departure. I keep forgetting this thing. Uh, you don't need to use flaps unless you're very short field. But let's go ahead and just make a quick loop around, check out the town. Just out of curiosity, we're going to climb up to 6,500. This thing does not have, by the way, any kind of... Uh, 
altitude hold or auto throttle you, we're gonna have to do all that stuff by hand which is uh, just fine with me I don't mind a bit and angling parrot traffic Cessna 186 excuse me Cessna 816 we're on the left downwind runway 34 climbing uh, 2800 angling parrot I uh, let's go a little bit to our right here. Ah, darn it! This is a this is a really cool little town. Just set up here on top of the mountains and amongst the trees. You can see. Ah, oh, there's some auto jan in there, but not much. Got a lake up here. Yeah, that you know. That doesn't look that doesn't look too bad down there, but really, a, a, in real life, a super beautiful, beautiful area, as you might have guessed. But Auto Jan probably not doing not doing super good justice to it. That's okay. All right, so let's. I think we are. Ready to get back on the downwind. We'll get up to where we're south of the field. We'll just make a little bit of a left-hand crosswind and depart the area. This gives us a chance, by the way, to climb up to 5,000 feet, which we're within 1,500 of anyway. Yep. <laughs> So that's the uh, that's the not the end of the scenery issue. So I, I had planned on flying out of here, Angwin Parrot, to Modesto, then down to Monterey, and then finish out somewhere to the west. And uh, that field also was uh, oh that field actually wasn't too bad, but but the default Modesto and the default Monterey were both just really I don't know I'm getting spoiled with this you know this is default with with ortho <laughs> uh, shouldn't say default but um, it's the equivalent I have you know I have true not true earth but the Orbix uh, North Northern California overlay mesh um, so it's it's kind of comparing apples to apples but it it looks so bad that I'm I was kind of like yeah man I don't know if I can do this so I decided that we would just see what X plane had to offer and we would just kind of have some fun testing out the the V flight air the the poor Skylane will just have to wait for another day Angwin Parrot traffic. Cessna 816, we're on a left crosswind, runway 34, departing the area to the east at 4,500, last call. Yeah, neat area. Very much, uh, very much enjoy flying out here whenever I have the chance. And thank you, Turbulent Designs, by the way, for creating that airfield, even though it sounds like maybe you're not a thing <laughs> anymore um, it was I had a lot of fun with it while it was up and running in fact for a while it was one of my bases in air hauler 2 okay I need to I need to give I need to give center a call Oakland centers on one three two decimal uh, what one three two twenty thirty two twenty
let's get leveled off here let's get on course Oakland Center November 11816 Do I have comms turned on? Oh. Wait, yeah, I do. I don't hear anybody. That's, uh... I'm not hearing him. That's not good. Oakland Center, Cessna, November 1, 1816. Okay. Thought I heard someone trying to call in, but let's just double check, and make sure everything looks good here. Yep, microphone's working. Okay, now let's get leveled out. We're getting too high up. And let's uh, let's see if we can get this heading mode is selected, autopilot's on. We'll pull this out, and that should hold my heading. And then we'll just kind of watch the watch the needle here. All right, let's try this. Let's try uh, twenty. Let's try 2510. Let's just see if I mean, we shouldn't be out of range of center. They they control everything. Let's just hear if we can talk to you. This is Modesto approach, by the way. Gosh, I'm not hearing anything. I'm not hearing anything. Let's see, could I, I'm close to San Francisco. I wonder if I could pick up their ATIS. 18, 85. Yeah, something, Something uh, weird's going on. Oh, and I'm not following my heading. What have I done? Do I have to push it in? You have to push it in to follow the heading. Oh, boy. Okay. There we go. There we go. Descending 4,500. That's not good. Let's get the nose back up. Let's, uh, let's have Oakland Center... Let's just make sure everything's turned on here, I guess. Com 1 is good. Speakers. That all looks fine. I guess I could try Com 2. Let's just see. 3220. Oh. Com, something weird happened with Com 1. Oakland Center, Cessna, November 11816. November 11816, Oakland Center, go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. I uh, just departed uh, Angwin Parrot. We're approximately 10 miles to the southeast and requesting flight following to Modesto, excuse me, pop up IFR into Modesto. Roger, squawk 3221. 3221, November 11816. Okay, we are, by the way, you can see the VOR needle coming into play here, so um, we are going to. We've got to get back up to 5000, number one. Okay. So we should be able to, we've got high sense on, that has to be on, 
and then we should be able to do a nav track actually we should be able to do a nav intercept right now and it'll turn us over and grab that intercept course and hey 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 all right if i could just get my altitude correct november 11816 is clear to the modesto airport president heading join victor 494 then as filed maintain 5000 capital altimeter is 2988 clear to modesto present position intercept victor 494 then as filed we'll maintain 5000 2988 cessna 816 Six Street back, correct. Thanks. All right, so interesting. A little bit of an issue with COM 1, but uh, that's do I have it turned off? Is maybe that the problem? No, I think it's on. That turns it off. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so so the nav function is working, but the COM function is not. Yeah, let's get up to 5,000 here. Interesting. All right, well, these things happen. Now, this this DME, uh, this should be working for me. Did I need to pull it over here? Yeah, 29. So we're 29 nautical miles away from the, what was that again? That was the Santa Rosa. Yeah, so... As we get, actually, we could flip it. We were supposed to get to 25 miles away and then f flip it to start heading toward Sacramento, which is 1520. I should have had that preloaded. That's not a very good job on my part. 1520. Let's see what happens here. See how smooth this transition is. And it's a 257 outbound, which ought to be right exactly where we're at. 257. Yeah, so we're maybe just a hair off. Just a hair off. Do we want to go nav intercept? Let's go back to heading select. Let's uh, let's vector ourselves just slightly, slightly to the left to intercept that guy. Kind of an interesting old school autopilot. I really, <laughs> I really do enjoy it. Delta 1025. Oh wait, am I reverse sensing? I might be. Yep, I'm. I might be. Uh, Alright, gotta think about this. Flying. So this Pick should be. Oh. Center, squawk, three, two, yep. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, Let's three, do two, this. One, four, four. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Let's stay eastbound here for now. So we don't get too squawk crazy. Contact, and I gotta flip this over because. We need to be from, and this needs to be 257. There's 260. Oh, One, two, three. All right. So that's from. So if we if we keep going eastbound, we are we should be uh, actually so flying down, slightly a wave. We need to we need to head a little bit more. Northeast of the Mustang VOR, level right. 340. A little bit more southbound to intercept. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're just about 5,000. We'll try to hold that with the trim and speed. I know we're going to be up and down a little bit here just because of the weather. It is uh, pretty windy, and we're expecting some turbulence. 25 miles from Sacramento and we're counting down so that's good all right
Gosh, maybe I am. I'm actually getting further away from my... Okay, let's track back a little bit to the north. Maybe I got a little bit further south of it than I anticipated. And so I'm actually going away from it. And we can get it. We can get a sense of where we're at, actually. Let's just spin this guy. And we should be, if we're traveling about a zero seven zero right now, we would be we'd be right on track. So let's get back to two fifty seven. Zero seven zero. So if we if we're flying a zero six zero, we should at some point in time intercept it. I might even go a little bit more just in case the wind is blowing us off our off our route slightly. Alright, well so there you have it. There is uh why we're back in X pilot after we get to Modesto we're going to be plotting a course like I said to San Jose International we'll kind of see what it how that shakes out and then if we have some time after San Jose I might try to make it back up into Angwin Parrot just make a little bit of a a little bit of a loop Hiccups. And version 607, where are you direct to at the moment? I think you passed uh, Big Low. Not exactly sure. Uh, we're direct Lozid right now on uh, version 607. Coming off that bluff we're looks kind of cool. Well, with the sky blue okay, livery good, today. Good. That would make sense. Um, from the legs transition, it's. Uh, supposed to be a pile big load, but that's fine. Um, all right, version 607, send via the bodega three, clear direct laws. And, uh, Decided to go with a little bit of uh, aerodynamic wheel pants. That's one of those all things right, that you uh, have the ability the to edit uh, if you'd like. And uh, North Carolina 1, 3, 3 point nine or five for version And Kenny Monster checking in. Hello, my good friend. I am lost, absolutely lost. Well, I'm not totally lost. I'm in California. So I'm I'm just about back on. I, I always get, I still, no matter how, how, and this is why I practice this stuff. No matter how much I practice, I get, I still get turned around sometimes when I'm tracking an outbound radial, when I'm tracking toward an outbound. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you that you don't turn into it to intercept, you turn away from it to pull it back in, and yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm in Cali, I'm a lost soul, Kenny says. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, um, if you're a pilot, uh, this would be a pretty nice place to live. Okay, so we're just about, just about where we need to be. Let's uh, let's let's see what happens. Let's track this. See how well we track the the localizer, the Vortac. Yep, looks like it's looks like it's lining up pretty well. We're pretty close to 5,000. Heck, we're just about there, guys. The captain will turn off the fasten seat belt sign, and if you're sitting right there, you can reach back behind you and grab. Well, I guess nothing. No, no uh, snacks, no, uh, no, uh, I did not intercept that. Why did I not intercept that? Oh, high sense isn't turned on. What the heck? How'd that get turned off? Now that's going to all, that's going to really mess me up. I have to intercept that again. Let's see. I may have to get back on heading mode. Darn it. All right. Well, shoot. Okay, heading select. Let's go. Let's get turned again. 
here's another reason why you practice. You got to practice with your instruments. So I actually went too far past, so I need to kind of come back this way. And <laughs> Pilot Brad, Pilot Brad A N. Oh, hey, thanks, man. I'm oh, sorry, Brandon. Gosh, my eyes. That's terrible. Pilot Brandon. Holy Moses. My eyes. Yeah, I appreciate you guys putting on this event, man. This is uh, this is some fun stuff, and I um, hope you don't mind me trying to sneak in a little, little light 150 into one of these um, international airports. Holy cow, I'm way... I am... I need to really... I've overshot to the north now. Uh, disregard the terrible track that I'm flying right now. <laughs> uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. This is a great area to fly, and uh, this is a fun airplane that I obviously need a lot more, a lot more time in because I've forgotten just the basics of how to run this funky little autopilot but that's okay we'll we'll get it figured out we've got a couple hours here to to kind of get it ironed out but yeah um happy to be here brandon and again tell you tell the rest of your guys how much we appreciate uh how much we appreciate the us ga guys these these events that you have this is the v flight air cessna 150 and uh yeah it's it's an absolutely phenomenal plane. It is really a well done. It's a well done add-on. It comes in a trainer model, and this is called the commuter model, which I don't fly very often, but it it throws in this uh, 300A, this old school Nav-O-Matic, and for the life of me, I am failing miserably <laughs> to, try to, to try to get back on track. I'm 12 miles from Sacramento, and holy Moses, I'm way, way off. What has happened to me? 1520, why am I so far off? This is crazy. Where, where should I be flying? I should be flying about almost due east, which is what I'm flying. Okay, so that explains it. So I need to keep coming around even more to re-intercept. Boy, the likelihood of me re-intercepting in any kind of a gentle fashion at only 11 miles out is probably pretty, uh, pretty low. All right, but as I understand, and again... If anyone here is familiar with the 300A Navomatic, you should be able to, as you're on heading select, you have high sense uh, turned on, you should be able to do nav intercept, and that's that's the old classic. You're flying a heading, here's your here's your uh, Victor Airway, and you're gonna you're gonna intercept that, and then as soon as you're on the heading, then you flip it over to to nav track, but I didn't have high sense turned on, and so I did. Needless to say, did not capture anything, and now I'm uh, now I'm well north of my of my track. So I'll give Brandon a little bit of uh, entertainment, and he can he can uh, already call ahead and tell the rest of his controller buddies, hey. <laughs> We've got one of those guys coming. This is this is not Orbix. I do have Orbix NorCal over in P3D. This is this is just Ortho 4XP, and uh, it uh, it blows Orbix NorCal out of the water. And I'm a big Orbix fan. I really I like Orbix a lot, but it's hard to beat Photo Real. Um, it really is. All right, here we go. So now I th theoretically, okay, here we go. Theoretically, 
I'm on an intercept course, so I should be able to hit nav intercept. Okay, it's making a little bit of an adjustment, but that's okay. Um, okay, so you're familiar, Brandon, you're familiar with, with the whole ortho thing and yeah it's uh, it is really it's it's a game changer i i was a p3d diehard p3d guy for a lot of years and i still enjoy p3d i'm not anti p3d oh for crying out loud except for i can't seem to intercept and hold i'll be darned i can't seem to hold my my needle guys I'm so sorry I don't know I'm not sure I may mean, just have to try to hand fly the needle that's that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for me to do anyway um, but once uh, once I was coerced essentially into into coming over and giving an X-Plane a try uh, yeah, it was it was not long until until I figured out that it was really there's a lot of stuff that I like to do. I'm I'm obviously a GA guy and um, and I really enjoy backcountry flying and the guy that's heckling me right now calling me cat lady. He's one of the guys to blame. Downwind Sim. Um, he he got me over here and now I'm sort of like for every five flights that I do in X-Plane, I'll probably do only one in P3D. And I'm slowly but surely kind of getting every aircraft that I had in P3D over in X-Plane. And I'm, I think once that happens, I'm probably about done with X-Plane. That's kind of scary to say, but um, I don't know. I mean, it's not going to happen right away, even though... Um, even though I'm racking up with all these COVID sales, I'm racking up the flipping add-on aircrafts like left and right. But man, it's hard to. United 1175, Ritter contact lost. It's really hard to pass up a half-price sale. All right, so if I, yeah, I am. Gosh, I I don't know why I'm having such a hard time here, guys, but I really am. I am really struggling. 257. Number 48427. The Redding altimeter is 2994. Okay, we're going to get on, and then I think I'm going to try it. If I, if I'm not able to right, capture it and hold it this time, then I'm going to just hand fly it and uh, go from there. The only thing really that keeps me coming back to P3D now is that I have some vintage airplanes, some vintage jets that I love. I, I, I have a DC-8 and, a, and an L-1011 that I absolutely love. And Southwest, uh, that's five, six, kind one. of the one thing that X-Plane uh, is lacking a little bit of. I mean, they, they have a, five, six, a really two, beautiful old-school 737 and 727, five, six, and there's a, a good MD-80, but... Um, but yeah, the, those those big jets, I'm still I'm still enjoying the heck out of, and uh, yeah, that that keeps me coming back. I also have a Phenom 300 that I really like flying. Those are kind of my three. Well, I take that back. The I like the Cessna Skylane from A to A as well. I like to get in and fly that. Um, oh, and I like the Milviz Beaver. <laughs> so I mean, there's lots of planes that I still like to fly. I can't help it. All right, let's try this one more time. Nav intercept. It's gonna, it's gonna sneak over a little bit. It's gonna grab it, okay? And then now I should be able to go okay, nav Delta, trap. Delta, one Delta, Bravo at three eight zero with you. And that's a big no. It's not doing it. All right. Well, we're just gonna turn this guy off. That's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna try to fly it. Delta, one Delta, Bravo, Oakland Center. By hand, position. this could be kind of scary. We're only a mile. That's, that's the other thing is we're only a mile, mile and a half from the VOR, so that's why it's uh, like 40 miles it's like super sensitive right now. Echo, so Romeo, Foxtrot, Romeo, uh, Delta One, Delta Bravo. Okay, let's. Uh, we got to get. Where are okay, we going now? Uh, one thirteen. Um, I did not receive a handoff on that either, so uh, not sure why you're with me. Perhaps uh, you should be with Los Angeles Center, which is five point eight. 
Uh, he sent me to you, uh, Delta One Delta Bravo. Delta One Delta Bravo. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I got you now. There was a Delta 170 and there was a Delta 1 Delta Bravo. I was getting confused there. My bad. Delta 1 Delta Bravo, Oakland Center, Roger. Descent okay, so we now are from the two. two three, zero, zero, so one. we're going to go ahead and we are going to go turn right 113. Uh, Super 4 arrival, uh, QNH uh, 3001, Delta 1 Delta Bravo. And. We should be again outbound 113. So there's 100, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Oh, uh, we're. We should be. Uh, we're still close enough to where it's saying we're heading toward the VOR, but we're really not. Western 1776. Descend via the Bodega 3 arrival service, let's go to Thunder 3001. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fly this accurately enough by hand. 100. 1, 2, 3. Correction. November 11816, contact NorCal approach 133.95. You have a great day. 33.95, Cessna 816, we'll see it. Welcome Center Delta 170, flight level 280. Delta 170. Okay, why are we not Oakland coming Center around? Roger. Come on, baby. Southwest 9561, Pops, Crash, Center 18, flight level 200. 200, Southwest 9561. Oakland, good day. Uh, Skywest 216, uh, passing 200, inbounding to San Francisco with you. Go to 216 Oakland Center, I'll show you 300 feet high, check your altimeter 2992, the for level 180 when you're ready to send me the circle for the surface, let's go to 3001. Oh, I forgot we're on um, COM2. 3395. Second country 395 to send via the Bodega 3. Alright. Whew, all that, uh, all that work. At NorCal, hello Cessna, November 11816 at 5300. 11816, NorCal approach, Lee Sacramento, altimeter 2988. 2988, Cessna 816. 2988, let me turn that down a little bit. 2988, there we go. I turn 120, direct Linden when able, Cessna 816. All right. Direct to Linden. All right, so Linden, Linden, that's kind of where we were trying to go. 11480. This will give us another chance. I, oh, well, heck, we're too far away. So we st we have to track Sacramento outbound for just a little while longer. We're five, almost six miles away from from that. So let's see if we're one two zero. Let's just get a sense for where the heck we are. Two ninety four is yeah. So what so what this is telling me here is. I actually have turned a little too soon. I'm down kind of in in this area here, and so I need to. I'm I'm actually kind of tracking, uh, kind of sort of back that way. Um, but what we can do is, yeah, we'll stay on. Uh, we'll stay on the one two zero. But we what we could have done had we not gotten that. Um, that heading is just flown the back, flown the outbound. Well, I say that, and I have not been able to su successfully do it so far. We are in Nav 1. That's one thing for sure that we're doing. Um, I wonder if, all right. Now we'll just we'll just continue to uh, check from time to time and see as I'm looking at my. 
happen to you know it looks it this is a 34 mile leg so it's not a tremendously long leg so you would think that by about the halfway point like about 17 dme Good away contact approach 125.1 125.1 Cessna 816 we'll see it 2510 okay this is making me though feel a lot less certain about going into San Jose International I'll tell you that right now gosh darn it I'm continuing to climb for some reason NorCal approach. Good afternoon, Cessna November one one eight one six five thousand three hundred. Cessna one one eight one six NorCal approach. Stock and altimeter two hundred three. Nine hundred three Cessna eight one six. Man, the altimeter is changing in a hurry here. Nine or three. One two three. We're doing over a hundred. That's pretty good, I think. All right, are we picking up Linden yet? No, we're not. Actually, what I should do is this. Let's do this. Let's put Linden in COM2. Or, sorry, NAV2. And that'll be down here as soon as that pops in. We'll know we're, we're in business. We're already 11 miles away from Sacramento so we're anticipating I guess we're hoping fingers crossed that um, we pick up that Linden BOR here before too long 14 oh gosh 1480 Zero Alpha Yankee Raider Service Terminator Romero. that's the problem my friend contact, the there's your problem you got the wrong frequency <laughs> okay so let's uh we want to let's let's tune a which way are we going heading about 120 which is about what he's got us on okay now let's try this again nav track we're on the nav right now okay that might have been my issue so I think what I will go get that right now November 816 what do we have 27 I can't even monitor I don't think I can monitor this 27 Modesto 2770 I don't think I can do both, can I? ILS 28 right. Charlie, okay. All right, so we can do the. Uh, NorCal Cessna eight one six. We have the weather at Modesto. Cessna eight one six, Roger. So we will request the visual two eight right. Although we do have the ability with this bird to track a. I believe we could track an ILS. Um, we may attempt to do that. We may we'll put, we'll put it in as backup, and just see if we can intercept it. Um, anyway, what I was about to say before uh, before I checked the weather was I I think the mistake I was making is you hit the high sensor button 
while you are intercepting and then once you've intercepted you turn the high sensor off and you engage uh, nav tracking and now you're good to go so for us when we fly the ILS we're going to be back we're going to be given our our vectors to final so we want to engage the uh, the high sensor again and we will be trying to intercept the uh, the localizer and we'll just see I don't know if this baby has a glide slope or not 16 miles from Linden it is bumpy here I'm all over the place but I'm about at 5,000 kind of almost stabilized we're going to turn heading south towards Modesto and we were looking for a 2-8 right approach so we'll probably be we'll probably come in uh, and be sort of sent on a right hand traffic pattern maybe uh, enter the right downwind on a 45 okay I think we can do that. Let's see. Let's let's really quickly brief the approach as well. If if we fly the ILS 111.9 and an approach course of 288. Just trying to keep an eye on my VSI here. Felt like I was nosing up a little bit. Um, we need to be. Yep. He'll he'll get us down. You know, between 5,000 and 1,800 there. We do need to be at 1800 at Zealot, which is the initial fix. And then on our way down there, it's plenty uh, plenty long, you know, with 5,900 foot runway, elevation's 99, so our missed, or our decision height, 291. If we go missed, we're going to climb to 1,500, then we're going to turn right and climb to 2,000, and we're going to find the Modesto VOR and hold Modesto VOR yeah so it's a pretty much a runway heading missed approach here okay that makes sense number 5312 Bob are you with me number 5312 Bob Roger All right, we're going to put Fort Modesto is a 1460. Put that in standby frequency. It's doing a halfway decent job of holding that holding that uh, radio, I think. I mean, Number five, three, one, two, Papa, a little traffic, off maybe, block, but not bad. Five miles opposite direction, altitude indicates 5,500. Alright, sorry chat, if you've been visiting, I have just been uh, right up there at saturation point. So let's see what, let's see what uh, Smack Talk Downwind Sim's been saying here. Um, oh, he's heading, oh, heading bug. I thought he said he was heading out. I thought maybe he was going back to work. Um, Steve PHL. Yeah, this instead of the beloved NH Adrian. Yeah, I wanted to give this a good test and oh man I think I'm I think I've lost my track here shoot I've lost my track a little bit the wind is just absolutely kicking my booty so we're sliding ever so gently off the track anyway Steve I wanted to give this a test I haven't had this up in 11.5 yet so I wanted to make sure it was it was working and it looks to be doing just fine with the exception of kind of a cantankerous autopilot <laughs> just when I thought I was getting it figured out I uh, I was not so I'm still 10 miles away from 
where I'm supposed to be. So I need to go ahead. Let's. Why is it still? Why is it still tracking my heading? It should not be tracking my heading. All right, that was just weird. I I have no idea. I'm going to have to have some more homework time with the autopilot, I can tell. Number 5312, Papa, contact North Calipers, 124.52. It's all just right here, right? Downwind sim? It actually is here. Performance specs, by the way, just in case you want to know, landing roll, 600 or 445 feet. Oh, I take it back. They uh, don't have. SA16, confirm your uh, direct Linden VOR. Well, we slid off the track just a little bit, but we're attempting uh, direct Linden at this time. Yes, 816. Do you have an approach request in the Modesto, or would you like just like the visual? Yeah, we'll take the visual. Uh, I believe 28 uh, right, if I remember the ATIS. All right, 16 Roger. You can expect visual approach from my 28 right, lighting 160 vector for the approach. All right, heading 160 vectors for the approach, uh, Cessna 816. All right, well, we will we'll get on the ground. We'll crack open the... POH and we'll see what we screwed up as far as that uh, that darn little commuter um, autopilot there but in the meantime let's set things up for uh, we're going to have we're on we're on approach we are going to have tower here so let's put 25 30 And Steve, as the old saying goes, so much time, no, so many 150s, so little time. This guy is a handful. I thought the MD-80 was tough. Okay, so uh, 111. Oh, that's my, that's my comm frequency, duh. Uh, tower, 2530. Okay, 111, Niner, that's the standby, and we may, we may, we may attempt to intercept a localizer. The approach course is 288, and you've seen how well I've attempted to fly just a basic BOR radial. And uh, it has not been pretty. Uh, so, anyway, we'll see. 288. I got to be coming. I have to be. Now, yeah, maybe that'll flip from, from to two here. I'm north of the field inbound. Attempting to hold 5,000 in choppy skies. Turbo Porter flies about us. Yeah, it. It does. It it like it gets to that top speed in about two seconds, and then it just stays right there. <laughs> um, yeah, all that lift ain't free. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a really interesting plane. Um, it you know the top speed may only be 150, but but. If uh, you want to do 150 while you're climbing out at 4,000 feet per minute with 8,000 pounds of cargo, I mean that's your that's your bird. Yeah, yeah. I 
I agree with that. Although I felt like it was, it was more, I don't know, responsive. I I felt like, um, than like the Kodiak per se. I feel like the Kodiak is a little, little slower on the turns and the rolls and the, this one, man, it was a, you know, it was a real sensitive, uh, sensitive plane. You know, I liked it. I once you once you get the feel for it, you know, it's kind of fun. We're gonna. I can tell. We're gonna have to have a Porter support channel here coming up. It'll be. It probably has this same type of cult following that the uh, like the Piper Cub does. All right. Well, we did end up within two miles of Linden, so I mean we were we were within spitting distance. That's approach November two 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 three two two off of seven thousand. Maybe what I need to try to do perish the thought. Nah. I was thinking maybe it maybe it would be smart to try to fly VFR and get permission to go into San Jose, but I think we'll just file another IFR. It'll be good for us. Pretty excited. This Modesto scenery that I found on the org store. Man, it's nice. It is nice. I think I need to adjust my timer on the Discord um, reminder, don't I? That's like every two minutes popping up. I'm desperate, but I'm not that desperate. Timers, what do I have it set at? Every 12 minutes. How about we go like every... How about every 30 minutes? That's probably better. Epic 88 Lima, thanks for Charlie. All right. Epic. I grabbed an Epic today on the uh, on the flash sale. By the way, what's new on the flash sale? I haven't checked for a while. Are is it still the uh, there was a Just Flight Archer, I think. Um, what what's new on the flash? I'm gonna have to check it out when we get on the ground. That's it's been it's been four hours since I've spent money on X plane. I'm going into withdrawals here. If you don't know, by the way, about the flash sale, they've been doing this here for well, they started yesterday and what they do is they get a handful of add-ons and they mark them 50% off and they uh, and they only are on sale for three hours aquafunkalistic booty web first of all welcome my friend secondly you are very very right it is a dangerous thing I almost I almost Charlie. Charlie, yeah, that's what I have. Almost Alpha bought the Ford Trimotor yesterday. Alpha I kind of I held Alpha off Alpha and. Alpha yeah, Jack, how are you, man? Is that the one that's on the Archer? I have the Turbo Arrow from Just Flight. And it's a beautiful plane, man. The Just Flight stuff is so so good. And and they're a little on the spendy side as far as uh, X-Plane goes. So if you can get one for sure. that, you know, kind of $20 range. Um, yeah, it's tough to... Uh, tough to say no. Haven't done much relaxing yet. Yeah, I'm about to uh, have to, after this flight, I'm going to hop outside and get after some yard work. We've got some storms rolling through here, so I've... I, the timing of, 
of this flight was pretty good. I think we're getting rained on ton of wind right now so it's not bad to be inside but I got to get a little bit a little bit of stuff done here so I have had the opposite I've had a very relaxing Saturday I just I'm about to get to work so <clears throat> I would like to do this what is uh, Modesto Eleven ninety. Let's let's pop that in. Nope, we're not quite there yet. Okay. Um. Fourteen six. Let's do this. That's the okay. Let's let's change this over. Fourteen sixty. This will at least give us a feel for how far we are from the field, and we are. Yeah, we're still about a good 19 miles. And then we'll put 1190 in nav 2 so we know if and when the localizer becomes active. I can say Jack if, is if you're gonna grab that archer man I th you better you better do it because it's uh, those things will flip around here pretty darn quick what do we have I want to just check while we're while we're flying in here downwind sim just about had his hands on the beloved Concord yesterday for half price and I think he said it might have slipped through his fingers. He was a little bit, a little bit slow on the trigger. So, uh, you know, you just got to be ready. Got to be ready to spend that money. Oh, a little bit smaller. Yeah. Oh, so there are some new. Okay. Okay. So there's some new stuff. That 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 181 Archer. Yep. That's a solid. Um, Solid plane. Let's see. Do I have anything else here? Ooh, a bunch of scenery now. Epic 88 Lima. There's so remaining your beacon code. Contact Modesto. I can tell you a couple things. Beacon contact Modesto Tower 88 Lima. Thanks. If you are interested, the uh, so the Dojevsky design or however you say that, he has Seattle airports, New York airports, Volume One and Volume Two, and I have in P3D I have. All of those. Well, to take that back, I don't have both of the New York airports, but I have the Seattle airports. I really like them, and I I have. He also has, I think, Chicago. Chicago airports. The nice thing about the DD scenery packs is you don't just get. Seattle you get I think that comes with five airports and then same thing with with the New York airports and the Chicago airports you get multiple airports for that price and um, anyway it's if you if you're interested they, they work very well now I have heard some people talk a little bit about the Seattle airports not necessarily jiving with the um, with the uh, demo area you know the demo S Seattle airports one of these roller coaster deals but uh, so I don't I don't know about that but I, I think overall they're they're nice airports all right 14 miles and don't know that I can see it quite yet, even with my downwind sim binoculars. I might not be able to see it. That could be it right over there. Turbo Archer, huh? Turbo Archer 181TX. So I'm guessing that that must be a 
Ooh, and it's a combination, Just Flight and Thranda. Oh, very nice, very nice. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, that that uh, that's got some nice features there. That's got to be comparable, kind of to a maybe a Skylane, right? If it's a 181 TX. Cessna 816, maintain 3000. 3000, Cessna 816. Very cool, very cool. Well, Jack, uh, if you end up getting it, let me know. Let me know how it is. I really enjoy the the Turbo Arrow. And it's a little smaller, um, little small T-tail. Remember, 232 Kilo Alpha, turn right, heading zero nine zero. Right. Zero nine zero I'm looking to it'll be interesting to see what comes up on number five two five five Roman clear direct on the flash sale Sierra, next. Clear direct on okay. Salinas, All right, Jack. Own, Understood. Five 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 yeah, so I've in the last couple days I've I probably have spent my monthly allotment and then some <laughs> on on add ons. I grabbed the PC porter. PC6 Turbo Porter, uh, the day it was released. That was that is a phenomenal plane. You heard Steve and I talking about that a little bit. Um, and then I did end up picking up an Aerobasque. I picked up the Eclipse 1000. And uh, so that's yeah, probably enough for me. Um, and in addition to those, by the way, in case you haven't heard, there is an update for the beloved Aeroworks. C-47. Roger, we were part visual November 2, 3, 2, come off. All right, we're going to, we're going to just leave that in here. We're approximately uh, 10 miles from the field now, so we're just going to, uh oh, what did I just do? What have Number I two done? Three, two, 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 oh my gosh. Two thousand kilo alpha. What have I done? Timer Number mode. Two, 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 alpha. Did you say that you have the field in sight? All right, there we go. One eleven ninety. We don't quite have. We're not in Number range two, two, just two, two, yet. Search, uh, but I'm just curious Number to two, see. Two, two, alpha, Roger, I can't remember if uh, if there's a glide slope or not that you could shoot. So we're gonna head down. To we have it inside, sir. Number two, three, two, 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 clear visual Head down to 3,000. Right trying to achieve that magic 90 and 500. Our Cal approach, Mooney 48, Mike Quebec is with you. 5,100, climbing 6,500 VFR, San Carlos. Ooh, Mooney's. Man, that's a nice plane. Number 48, Mike Quebec, our Cal. So many, so many awesome choices in the world of flight sim. All right, am I on? Is this it? Am I on the downwind right now already? Maybe. No, I'm not on the downwind because I'm. It's two eight right. I'm entering on a forty five, I think here. Ten miles out. Where the heck are you? That that's got to be it. That little light patch over there. That's got to be it. Just not, just not rendering in very well quite yet. This is a really, really like I said before, a really nice airport. Um, I found free on the on the org store really looks looks great I think let's see if we can get leveled out here A 
1-0-0, zero, Cessna zero. six. All right. That must indicate that we are getting closer here. Yeah, that's got to be it. Has to be it. Gotta, gotta be it. Sounds, holy cow. <laughs> You're burning some oil or what, man? That thing is really kicking out some, puffing out some smoke there. Holy cow. I haven't noticed my, my temps, my pressures are all look pretty good. I thought, anyway. Looking, looking, looking. Number 5255 Romeo, contact NorCal approach 124.52. A second, the frequency, sorry. 124.52. Number 5255 Romeo, contact NorCal approach 124.52. Local 124.52, 5 Romeo, have a good day. Cessna 816, maintain 2000. 2000 Cessna 816. Norcal, good evening. We're here five minutes before my golf had a flight level 190 or 8000 information. Delta. So, yes, uh, Aquafunkalistic Booty Wap, that is the Dojevsky Design Seattle. And you're right, that's going to be a tough one to pass up. Cessna 816, turn right heading 200. Right turn 200, Cessna 816. Cessna 816, descend maintain 2000. On our way down 2000, 816. Number 524, Mike Golf. Expect visual approach from my 28 right. Visual 28 right, Lear for Mike Golf. Okay, if I don't pick up uh, any kind of a localizer or anything here in the next little bit, I think we're going to just take the autopilot off. I'm really not wanting to fly this approach, uh, via autopilot, but I did want to see if we had that ability to intercept a localizer and fly all that uh, good approach. Type stuff. We're kind of on the kind of on the base leg right now, and I still don't see anything popping up here, so uh, I'm not 100% sure why we're not, but we're not. So, uh, yeah. That's the A16 Modesto Airport, two o'clock, seven miles before the field was eight. Now we see the field, Cessna 816. It's got to be the tower. Roger, clear visual approach from my 28 right. Contact Modesto Tower today. Cleared for the visual 28 right and over to tower, Cessna 816. All right. Let's level off here at 2000. Let's make sure we have tower frequency 20, what is it, 2530? Yep. Modesto Tower, good afternoon, Cessna 11816 on the visual 28 right. Cessna 11816, uh, Modesto Tower, runway 28 right, later land. 
28 right clear to land Cessna 816 all right um, so never did pick up any kind of a localizer we've got I think the runway is right over there right behind my little part of my window I can't see out of so we're gonna keep going just a little bit further it's right over there we'll keep it at 2000 and Ninety knots. That's that's not too bad. Alright, we'll start let's start angling here so I can just make sure that I'm looking at what I think I'm looking at. Right over there is what I'm thinking. And maybe I'm maybe I'm off here. What the heck? It's gotta be it. Why does that not look like it it is it though? Uh, maybe I'm lying. These matches say you're lying. Hmm. Okay. Oh. All this time I was thinking that this little white light patch was uh, what I was aiming for but I actually ah and tower Cessna 816 Cessna 816 Modesto Tower yeah I apologize I guess I uh, was not seeing the airfield I thought I was uh, can we get a vector here I think we're in the neighborhood Okay, I guess we are looking at the right thing. It's just not rendering on my scenery very well. Uh, appreciate the help, Cessna 816. All right, well, it's got to be, it's got to be right here, guys, and just not. See, there's the tower that I thought I saw, but uh, okay. So we are, we're actually cutting it in probably a little. A little too close right now. Let's stay up at 1,500. Interesting. Interesting. And when the approach controller told me I could definitely see just right out there, I could see that tower, and I'm like, okay, we're good. We got the, we have the field. We're good to go. Um, and we do finally have the localizer now. Uh, but we're way, we're way to the right of where we need to be. So, hmm, okay. And we do have a glide slope. I'll be darned. How about that? Well, I'm going to fly about a 230. And let's see if we can intercept. Um, Modesto Tower, good evening, Lanyard Jet 524, Mike Golf 1. We're a little miles. high, oh, so... There's my runway. There's my runway. So I'm gonna just probably come right down this road. And so we got a guy behind us here, and we don't want to be too slow. We are a little bit fast, or sorry, a little bit high, according to the glide slope. Try to just nose it down, just a little bit, which keeps our speed up. Yeah, that was a tricky kind of scenery deal right there, but we got we got it in sight now. We're on a decent. We're not exactly flying a visual pattern. Uh, we're flying Cessna more. Eight one six. Can you change to runway two eight left? We can sidestep two eight left. Cessna eight one six. Cessna eight one six. Change to runway two eight left. Runway two eight left. Clear to land. Two eight left. Clear to land. Cessna eight one six. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Let's let's just uh, 
Let's actually maybe try to fly this pattern a little bit better. So let's get back on a base leg here. We were really flying it more like an ILS. We're trying to intercept it on a 30 degree angle. But let's uh, let's get out here. That way it'll let that jet who's coming in behind us, who's a lot faster than we are, give him room. And, okay, there's our 2.8 left. We can turn final. And everybody's happy. Oops, I overshot it just a little bit. I tried to do this yesterday at at uh, Maui, and I did a really bad job. I lost sight of the the sidestep runway, and I ended up kind of vectoring back toward the original runway, and I got in somebody's way. I actually got in Slant Alpha's way, I think. <laughs> he was coming in on approach. And so, uh, anyway, I botched it. And this one is, should be a little bit easier. I did I did overshoot it maybe just a little bit, but we might have some parallel, a little parallel approach action coming in here, potentially. Huh? Be kind of cool. He's coming in quick, though. Here's good for my golf traffic. is in a two-mile final for the parallel. Uh, Cessna 150 report today. Now let's not. Uh, no joy we're looking for for my golf. Let's not uh, do a Harrison Ford. Let's make sure we actually uh, find the factor. runway and not the taxiway. Okay, I think we're good. We are high up though. All right, let's uh, let's go a notch of flaps. Second notch of flaps. Get that speed down just a little bit here, if we could. Still a tiny bit high, but I think we'll be okay. I always get a little nervous with water and trees and stuff in front of the runway. I tend to kind of err on the side of being a little too high. All right. Mixture full forward. Oh man, carb heat on, forgot that. Lights are on. Laps full. Down we go. I see 2.8 left, that's a good thing. One ninety seven, yeah, it's acceptable. It got a little bit loosey goosey at the end, but not not too bad. Uh now my problem is I don't know which way to go. Exit left or right here, I don't know. I, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna just be right up rocking and rolling anyway. Um Yeah. Aquafunculistic, you know my my uh, history. You know anything below 200 is pretty good. I want to do better than that when we get, get into uh, Sa San Jose, though. All right, flaps coming up. And I probably have ground here at some point in time, don't I? Come here for my golf. We're uh, rolling nope. left Charlie 1, uh, park in Modesto Aviation. Ooh. Uh, Learjet for my golf, Roger. Cross runway 28 left of Charlie, taxi ramp via Bravo. Two eight, cross we'll two there left too. on Charlie and then uh, park via Bravo. Bravo there one. For my golf, good day. Cessna 816, taxi ramp via Bravo. Add to the ramp via Bravo, Cessna 816. So let's get off to the side here. And we will uh, plan our second leg. Anybody coming? I don't think so. Nope, we're good. Just find a nice spot over here to park. And we'll plot a course up to San Jose International. So that'll be good. Um, that'll be fun. It's been a while since I've taken a small plane into an international airport. And 
I normally really wouldn't try to do this during an event, but this is not a featured airport. It's not like this is one of the the two that that they're that everybody's flying into. If there were if there were 50 planes coming in, uh, yeah, I, I would not be trying to do this. Uh, I wouldn't do this to the to the controllers. But since uh, I'll, I'll take a look, I guess I shouldn't. I shouldn't say. All right, carb heat. Whoops, uh, carb heat is off. Flaps are up. We'll just let it idle. And okay, bring that over here for our next uh, flight plan this is modesto so yeah check check this place out guys let me let me give you a feel for i have no idea who made this but it is really it's really halfway nice got some got some grass around it you know got some uh got some good stuff going on um around the uh hangars some nice cracks in the pavement there a beautiful water tower a little bit of a you know a little bit of a compass rose I mean, this is this is not half bad. Um, over on the terminal side, you know, it has again some some really interesting stuff here. You know, it has a full kind of uh, area for you know air stairs and and all that good stuff. Nice parking lot. So I just was really I was really happy with uh, you know with this. There's some stuff down here. It looks like as well. So I don't know who made this, but uh, hats off. Nice, nicely done. You got a guy kind of sticking out of the hangar there. Um, but uh, yeah, about the only complaint is it maybe maybe blended in a little too well. I had a hard time finding it, and uh, it took me a minute or two. But um, yeah, so but we're heading to San Jose Internacional next if we can I should say let's we were gonna look at all right let's take a look quickly at Bat-tastic so like I say San Jose not one of the featured airports okay good they have two departures one arrival but they have an approach controller so I think that's uh, that'll be a fun one to do and it's not very far and um, you know we were gonna go from Modesto, which is right here down to Monterey, but I told you about my scenery issues. Not as many, not as many guys flying as only 10 people in and out here, and 11 here. Um, interesting, interesting. San Francisco, yeah, the steady 12 in, 12 out. Um, yeah, interesting. Yeah, you know, you just never know. But uh, we'll hit San Jose. And we will see if we can make a halfway decent flight plan and see if we can follow it a little bit better this time. Um, we uh, we struggled a little bit with our with our autopilot. KMOD mold <laughs> KSJC I believe is that one. Yep, Norman E Manita San Jose International and all right do we have any kind of departures out of modesto no we do not um why do i have why is this all over the place what is going on here what is going on there we go uh let's stay on the low airways and man it's i almost could just i could almost just file direct let's see what the arrivals look like for um uh for San Jose Brinny 2 That looks like it's coming from more from the north. Okay. Um RNAV RNAV Point Reyes 3 That uh that also looks like it may be coming a little bit more from the north, yep, uh, San Fran, kind of up and around. Oh, oh boy, do I have Roby? 
Robbie three. Hmm, that's coming from the south. Well, uh, God, do we dare? Do we, do we dare file? Flight following and just see if we can sneak in there. What would be the route we would take? We got, we have some mountains to cross. That'd be kind of fun. Um, we could, we could fly the VOR basically straight out. Got a little, looks like a little road we could follow through from Patterson. Well, it'd be kind of tricky in here. I don't know this country very well. Um, man, I don't know. I'm a little bit torn. Uh, we could, f we could, uh, definitely, you know, we could definitely fly somewhere down like, like one of these if we needed to, if that would help, um, take us down there to the, uh, what is that? The, the Cood Clyde. K-L-I-D-E, the Clyde intersection, and then on and up, I guess we could do that. I don't know if, if it uh, if it makes a whole heck of a lot of difference or if we should just try to file, just try to file direct here. Wookie, I'm doing very well, my friend. How are you doing? All right, you guys think about it for a second. I need to take a little break. I need to get some more water. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here's what I've decided to do. I'm going to file IFR direct. And if they decide that that's not a good fl flight plan, then they will tell me what I should fly instead. So, yeah, I had to take a little a little break. Had to get we have fresh banana bread. Mm. So, you know, been doing some work here. All right, Modesto to SJC. Um, probably just come back here if we have to divert. Maybe we could be airborne here in the next 10 minutes. Be awesome. This will be a 50 minute flight. And what will we need to file? We're heading west. We've got an MSC of 6,600, so how about we file 8,000? That'll be a that'll be a lot of work for this plane. That'll be fun to see if we can get up to 8,000. All right, and we're just going to file direct. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. IFR Modesto San Jose back to Modesto. 10 minutes from now, 50 minutes, 88,000. Direct slant alpha. Okay. Let's uh, you know doesn't doesn't hurt to ask, I guess. We don't have Modesto ground anymore. Are we still on tower? I think we are. I'm wondering if my COM1 is working yet. Kind of seems like it is because we've got the... Okay, it's still 2-8 left, 2-8 right. Delta. All right. Information Delta. 2530 is tower. Okay, information Delta. Get my notes up here. Information Delta. We need. That's going to be uh, two eight. Probably for us two eight left. Since we're Modesto over. Modesto Tower, hello Duke seven one zero Delta Duke. Sierra Modesto Jet Center with information Delta. Request taxi VFR flight following to Monterey, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, November 7th, there. 1 Duke, 0 baby. Delta Sierra runway 28 right taxi via Alpha Squawk 5556. 
I like the Duke. Another one of those P3D planes that I haven't quite found a comparable one over here in, in X-Plane. Modesto Tower, uh, Cessna 11816, information Delta, IFR request to San Jose International. Cessna 11816, Modesto Tower, clearance and request, stand by and confirm your slant alpha. A firm, slant alpha for Cessna 816. And I know that I can yeah, shoot an ILS. Zero, Delta Sierra, uh, say your equipment suffix. Uh, we are Slant Golf, Zero Delta Sierra. Fancy schmancy Slant Golf. Love it, love it. The uh, the Duke I have in P3D, I actually bought the GTN 750 for, and it is a really a cool plane with that. Now, I don't generally I fly it with uh, this configuration. The old steam gauges. I fly. I try to fly at slant alpha as well. Uh, but that's a fun plane. Okay. So what else do I need to put in here? We have an altimeter two nine or nine or three, which I think we still have from our approach. Yep, it's still in there. And we are. Still going to be heading out the Modesto VOR one way or another. Modesto is going to be our 1460 is going to be what we head out on. So we'll put that in. Duke Zero Delta Sierra, we'll be ready at the end. Duke Zero Delta Sierra, Roger. Let's see what the old Duke looks like. Probably renders like a Baron. Duke Zero Delta Sierra. Left crosswind departure approved, runway 28 right, clear for takeoff. 28 right, clear for takeoff, left crosswind departure approved, Duke Sierra Delta Sierra. Cessna 816, uh, clearance available, advise ready to copy. I go ahead for 816. Cessna 816, clear to San Jose via radar vectors, San Jose. Maintain 6000, departure frequency 125.1, squawk 5547. Cleared to San Jose Radar Vectors, San Jose. We'll maintain 6,000. Departure 125.1, squawk 5547, Cessna 816. Cessna 816, read back correct. Expect runway 28 left for departure. Contact ground 121.7, uh, one ready for taxi. Information Delta current. Okay, we'll expect 28 left. We'll give ground a call for taxi, Cessna 816. Ground is not showing on my V-Pilot quite yet, but maybe loading up. Uh, 5547, we've got that in. 6,000 instead of 8,000. Okay, well, we must not be hitting that 6,600-foot 6, peak, but that's all right. So radar vectors San Jose. So that means 114.1. That's we're going to be just north of the airfield. And that's about as easy of an IFR flight plan as you can get. 114.1. I wonder if we can pick that up right out the chute. That'd be, that'd be even better. Oh, I know what else we were going to do. Yep, can't quite get that one yet. Let's, uh, we'll tune that in on number two. Let's, uh, let me get just one quick second here. Let's, I just want to look at... See what I'm doing wrong with that autopilot. I'm just very Duke curious. Duke Zero Delta Sierra, contact NorCal departure 125.1. 251 Duke Zero Delta Sierra, yeah. Um, user's manual. Okay. All right, where are we? Avionics options. 15 autopilot 23 all right let's spin it down to 23 and let's see where we're at here Yonix pre-flight takeoff climb cruise getting the contact from ground all right so 
center and pull out the pull turn and set the autopilot switch to on. Okay, that's kind of what we did. Uh, you can make it the turn with the command lever, which I don't generally use. Um, so heading select, set the dry roll on the magnetic compass heading and rotate the selector to heading. Yeah, so you just pop that guy right there. Um, center and push in. Yep, that's that's what we do. Okay, okay, so that so the heading is working fine. So the navigator intercept, we pull out the knob, we make sure we have the desired navigation source. So in our case, it's going to be nav one. We make sure we are on the desired course, which we put that heading on there, and we have the, the OBS set to that radial. And then we push the nav INT, then push the high sense button. Uh, maybe I had that backwards. I think I had the high sense in first, then the nav look. Okay. Um, and then center and push it in. All right. So that's, and maybe that was my, my problem is I was pushing the high sensor button first, then I was doing the nav intercept. All right. So then to do the nav tracking, you pull it out, you put the course in, or you put the nav data in your nav one, you set your OBS and when you're within two dots of the deflection, you can push in the button. Sorry, you can push the nav track button and then, and then, uh, yes, you disengage the high SENS button for en route omni tracking. Uh -huh -huh, okay. Everybody got that? There'll be a quiz later. Okay. Ground wants me to talk to him. Let's do it. One two one decimal seven. At Modesto Ground. Good afternoon, Sesta, November one one eight one six. Ready for taxi. Two eight left via Bravo, two niner niner three, Cessna eight sixteen. Okie dokie. And Okay, we want to go this is Bravo right here. So thanks for hanging around, guys. Uh, sorry about the little delay there, but I just had to get myself a fresh snack and a little something to drink. Anybody else checking in since then? Downwind Sim uh, got kind of kind of got you taken care of. Wookie still hanging out with us. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Let's make a let's have a good flight into San Jose. Let's let's see if we can sneak the 150 into San Jose. What do you say, guys? Should be fun. Taxiing like a F6 Phantom right now. See, this is a pretty good little airport. Who makes this? Does, has anybody looked it up for me? It's just, whoa. Just go to the org store. And, I mean, this looks, this kind of looks like an LP Nils type of deal, man. It's, this looks pretty solid. Or Mr. X or something. I think I'm going to do my porter in this sky blue theme. What do you say? What do you think? November 11816. Uh, contact tower on 125.3. Have a great flight. 2530, Cessna 816. Appreciate the ATC. Great event. All right. 
Tower Cessna 11816 uh, back with you on the roll 28 left. On the taxi roll, I should say. Cessna 816 Modesto Tower, hold short runway 28 left, awaiting IFR release. Hold short 28 left for IL IFR release. Cessna 816. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, I feel like I've got something happening here. Wait a minute, what's going on? All right. Whoa, whoa. All right, there we go. So, all right, so the we're going to be flying runway heading here for at least a little while. 285 I believe whoopsie and then what I'll probably do as soon as I get on the runway is I'll spin my OBS and we'll just kind of we'll just kind of track ourselves outbound Cessna 816 fly heading 200 runway 28 left clear for takeoff Fly heading 200, clear for takeoff 28 left, Cessna 816. All right, never mind. We'll comply. 200. We're clear to, uh, we're clear to 6,000 feet. And final looks clear. Runway is clear. Probably could have taken one of these intersections back here. That's okay. We'll use every foot. Trim wheel is set. All right, let's go flying. Mayday, 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 uh, this is, uh, Sirius 5 Bravo Whiskey. We just had a, uh, bird strike. Uh, we're gonna need a land Whoa. immediately. Sirius 5 Bravo Whiskey, roger, runway 28 left, clear to land. 28 left, clear to land, 5 Bravo Whiskey. Hmm. That's the new thing with that hold my beer. Sirius is it does simulate legit bird strikes. Okay, we're gonna make our turn to zero, zero. We're kind of getting ourselves out of the area. We're looking for the traffic. Uh, we have the traffic. We're going to divert here. <laughs> uh, Cessna 816, maintain visual from that traffic. Yeah, all right. We just hung a little bit of a right-hand side. It looks like he's past us. Good luck, buddy. About had a big bird strike there. <laughs> Okay, so let's see if we can apply our knowledge to our ever cranky commuter autopilot here. So we are on heading. We are climbing out. Everything, temps and pressures look pretty good. All right, let's do this. Uh, actually, nothing should be. 816, contact Norcal departure 125.1. 25.1, Cessna 816. See it. We'll do that first. 25.1. And NorCal, good afternoon. Cessna, November 11816, climbing 1100. Uh-oh. I actually don't... 
I didn't. 816. Radio 16, radar contact, one mile southwest, but SC report, climb and maintain 6,000. Climb maintain 6,000, Cessna 816. All right, so this needs to be pulled out. We need to turn autopilot on. Heading mode is engaged. Now we push it in to fly the heading. That part we've done okay with. The part that's been trickier has been the uh, grabbing the localizers, grabbing the radials. Okay, so at a certain point here, we're going to be direct. Made one six amendment to the radio advisory to copy. Eight one six ready to copy. Are you one six? The graphic show should have gave you this, but uh, apparently it didn't. Direct uh, board, direct Clyde, direct board. Uh, that's how the sounds Clyde Kilo Lima, Correction Kilo Lima, India Delta Echo. All right, uh, just confirm direct board, direct Clyde. Cessna 816 affirmative board, Clyde, then direct San Jose, Clyde maintain 7,000 over your final today. Board, Clyde, direct, Clyde maintain 7,000, November 11816. Level 3400, Clyde maintain, final level 100. Uh, okay, well, that's going to change things a little bit. Reserve out of Sierra, contact. It was kind of what we, kind of what we uh, were thinking there. Clear. So we'll go board. We had this in our route a little bit, and Clyde. Alright, so that means 219 is our outbound radial right now. So let's, let's put that in. 219 outbound. Radio 16, turn 20 degrees right and vector for traffic. 20 degrees right for traffic, Cessna 816. Traffic 12 o'clock, 5 miles, opposite direction. 2,300, climbing 7,000, is a Cessna 150. Yeah, we're looking for the traffic now. We're hard to find, I bet. <laughs> the, especially... 816, traffic 11 o'clock, 5 miles, opposite direction. 4,600 VFR, TBM, uh, landing Modesto. Okay, we're looking for the traffic, Cessna 816. Delta 3400, contact Oakland. Blue sky with light blue paint scheme. Yeah, we're going to be tough to find. Maybe sky blue paint scheme's not the best. Uh, South okay, 219, right? Is that what we're saying? 219. South of 945, Roger. Information, Sierra Currents at Oakland Advisory. You have it. Expect ILS from 830. Thanks, and contact Modesto Tower 125.3. 125.3, I know, Mike. All right, so well, we really need to turn to the left, but I want to make sure. Raid 16, fly heading 250. All right, 250, November 16. Okay. Raid 16, update on the traffic, uh, 12 to 11 o'clock, 3 miles opposite direction. A, uh, the TBM at 2900 has the insight. Give him the old double click. All right, pressures, temps, all in the green, looking great. I did not turn on my landing lights or my strobe. That might help. Be more visible. Mm, sorry about that, TBM traffic. So we're... Partner, Cal Signals, that's 945. So we're flying way more Appreciate westerly that. than we need to be to intercept this course, but we've got to get around the traffic first, and then... 816, traffic, no factor, direct board. Direct board, November 816. So this will help. Um, well, kind of. Not really. We can, we can start... We can start our way down. I'm going to say... Probably won't be due south, but more like a two, like a one nine or zero, um, and see if we can start to draw that VOR needle in. Now we should be able to. Yep, 
No, that's not what I want to do. That's just that that's not what I want to do. Uh I want to keep the 219 in. We're one zero, we met our cow pitch right here. Sorry about the last drill if you can either. Channel setting one eight zero, thank you for your descent. So I'm maintain two thousand. Number one, Sierra Lima, descent maintain 2000. You can expect the visual approach from day two long. Number one, Sierra Lima, you said you wanted the ILS? I think I'm going to request to fly due south just to try to intercept this. Well, actually, I'm just going to fly. So, what's happened here, guys? And I won't be able to do justice like what Slant Alpha does, but we we departed and. Um, directly to it, then uh, not during the route to it. Then if not fighting to Forjo, when able, proceed direct board. All right. Uh, yeah, we're having a difficult time direct board with our navigation equipment. Um, can we, is, is a vector 240, is that going to get us there? Number 816, affirmative. Fighting to Forjo, when able, proceed direct board. All right, 240, um, and uh, when able, direct board. November 1, 1816. Yep. I don't know how I'm going to go direct board. I don't know how I'm going to do that, guys. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't think I can do that with my navigation equipment because I can't. Board in, in and of itself is not a VOR I can fly toward. If I'm flying away on a two, I I don't know how to do that. I'm I don't know how to do that. Any anybody in the chat with a suggestion here? If I tune, I mean I could tune. I, I and I'm sorry, sir. I, I guess I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. Uh, I I'm going to just need to have vectors. I apologize. Well, I thought so, but this one's stumping me a little bit. Uh, so, reference board, it's uh, showing off the Modesto VOR off the 215 radial, and uh, you have 114.6 for the uh, VOR frequency there. I have 1460 tuned in, and I have, uh, we had 219 for the outbound VOR, but again, we were we were thinking we would, I'm sorry, 215, we were thinking we would just intercept that course, but I don't know, I guess, how to go direct to that intersection. Ray 1-6, uh, Roger. I'm trying to find the cross radial here for you. Coming off of uh, Panache, it looks like, um, on the 301. Yep, that's about correct. The Hoff of Panoch uh, 301 radial, that should get you there. And then if you follow your HSI, it should direct you towards uh, board. Okay, let me plug that in for Panoch and uh, see what it looks like. I appreciate the help. Yeah, no worries. Boy, one zero, Lima, turn left hitting zero five zero. Twelve six. Yeah, I, I that's uh, this is a learning moment for me, guys. So. So be good. So 12.6, and then we want. So this is what I've. This is what I'm seeing. Okay. So this is at the intersection of this 2.15. I know it says 2.19 here, but it's 2.15 right there. Um, and Panoch is down here, and it's the 301 outbound. So let's. Uh, we'll spin this to 301. And. There's 300, 301. 
So, but again, I, I, uh, okay, so I see what he's saying. I think if I do this, if I go here and center that and here and center that, that tells me I need to, uh, fly about a 205. Okay, approach. Uh, just double check my math. Is, is about a 205 heading going to get me direct board? Radio 16, uh, about a 225 heading uh, more likely should get you to uh, board. Okay, 225, not sure what I'm doing uh, wrong there. I'm going to have to take a look when I'm all said and done. So I, I really appreciate the help. Yeah, no worries. And uh, you have two uh, VORs, and they're both crossed at the moment? Yeah, I, I have uh, yeah, I have the Pinoche set at uh, on NAV2, and I've got Modesto on NAV1, um, but I... I'm still missing a step here, and I don't. I'm not exactly sure why, but kind of, it's kind of uh, frustrating. But uh, it's a good learning moment. So, uh, just just vector me if I get in anybody's way. Let me know once I get to board. Um, I'm assuming I'll be back on the uh, on the 221 outbound to uh, to Clyde. Right, one six. That's correct. And let me see if I can uh, grab another guy that has more expertise than I do. But uh, yeah, you're pretty much by yourself in that area for a while there. Okay, two one five. Yeah, so I, I don't know what he's meaning by, um, I should have. I, the part that I don't get is he's. I think he's feeling like something should come together here, but they're really not, and so. Uh, yeah, I just don't know. I, I'm. This is a good one for me to to fly because I don't know. <laughs> when these two come together, I know I will be right on board. I do know that, but I what I don't know is exactly what heading to fly to, because I don't know what exactly what my present position is see I don't know I don't know if I'm exact I'm, I know I'm up here somewhere like up here by by Simone I'm up here somewhere but I don't know exactly where but I know once I get to where the both of the navs are centered I know I'll be at board again I just don't know what I don't know how he came up with the 225 that's my main thing there so um <laughs> yeah, it's it's all good Kenny it's just like I say it's just a matter of I mean this was my goal for the flight was to to just practice my my IFR and uh, it's amazing if you don't if you don't stay with it little things kind of slip out and and you forget now this is a unique situation. I I have not been in this type of situation too often. Service nine forty five ready three zero clear to land. For one zero Lima turn left heading three five zero. Ray one six uh, turn right heading two three zero when able proceed direct board. If uh, you're unable, just let me know and inspect vectors to the final first course. So otherwise, just hand it there. I turn two three zero and uh, yeah, I I'll know when I get there because I'll have my VOR centered up. But I might just need vectors all the way and might be just easiest at this point. Sounds good. Region eighty four contact Oakland Center one three two point two. Region eighty four affirmative one three two point two. Hmm. Well, not the way not the way that you want to go into an international airport here. Definitely uh, doesn't bode well. 
Probably should divert to a smaller airport. Number one, Sierra Lima, finding three, one, zero, intercept the runway three, left localizer. All right, let's, uh, in the meantime, let's pick up some information here about Modesto, or sorry, about uh, San Jose. We need 2485. And let's uh, monitor COM2. Yeah, I don't want to do that. If he talks to me, I don't want to be away. So I've got the text version here. It's information Bravo. And we're looking at um, 330 gusts of 6. Uh, sorry, that's winds 330 at 16 with gusts of 22. Wow, that's going to be pretty pretty significant for this little thing. We've got a few clouds at 10, sorry, 16,000 feet at 40, or 4,000, scattered at 6,000, so I could run into a few. A few clouds at 1,600. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. A few clouds at 4,000, scattered at 6,000. Altimeter 3,000. ILS and fairgrounds visual runway three zero left. Okay. Well, I would like to shoot. Right, one six information Bravo current on San Jose altimeter two nine or correction three zero zero zero. Expect a visual approach runway three zero left unless you have a different approach at request. Okay, we have the information Bravo, um, and we were going to try to shoot the ILS three zero left if that's okay. 816, expect the ILS runway 30 left approach. 816. Alright, so what does that look like? 30 left. Let's get uh, 110.9 set, 306 as our course heading. Elevation 62, so 2, yep, about 260, 257. Lima, Modesto Tower, approach, we uh, climb 1900. Basically, runway heading um, and hold. All right. So we're putting 110.9er. That's going to be the uh, frequency. Again, we're not quite at board just yet because these needles haven't centered, although they look like they're moving a little bit here. Starting to come in ever so gently. So we want to we want to do the uh, nav intercept function. So that means that we. Five nine forty five turn right. Or actually, are you going all right? We get this set. We get the heading bug set. We push nav intercept. Five nine forty five five runway. Then high SENS. Whatever. Pull this out to reset and push it in to engage. All right. And that should, that should fly us. And we're going to find out if we can, if we also fly the glide slope. I have no idea. If we could do that, that would maybe kind of, kind of redeem our flight here just a little bit. Do I have traffic over here? I thought I saw something flash. All right, so you can see our needles are starting to come in. So I know I'm getting close to uh, board, but I don't know, again, how he came up with the 230. That's the part that I'm going to have to research. I'll be interested to talk to you guys uh, once we get once we get on the ground. I need uh, JPC. Somebody, somebody go rouse JPC. I need a debrief. This was very, very good for me to do. The turbulence feels a little bit better down here, even though the wind is way worse than it was at Modesto. But right now, in, f in flight, it's been uh, not too bad. So it's 945, turn right heading 04, Joe. Ray 
Solid six, can I bridge one two seven point one five? They'll help you on. Twenty seven fifteen. Uh, appreciate the help. Eight one six. Southwest nine forty five. Can I bridge one two seven point one five? Cal approach, I'll expect visual approach, 28 left. Expect 28 left, send out whiskey at Alaska, 1168. Sky West, uh, 175, turn right, heading 260, airport's going to be 1 o'clock and 1 a mile to port inside. And all calls get a 9236 radio. 260 on the report, the field site, Sky West 175. Sky West 175, intercept the runway 28 left, localize if you haven't tuned in. Yeah, Drew, we'll, uh, we're about to tune in right now, Sky West 175. Roger. NorCal approach southwest 945 on a heading of 040 on the go around for Oakland. Skywest, uh, question southwest 945, NorCal departure, radar contact, turn right heading 130. Right 130, southwest 945. Southwest 945, expect visual approach, runway 30. Expect visual 30, southwest 945. Shuttle 48, Mike Quebec is back with you out of uh, 3,000, I'm sorry, 2,700, climbing 4,500 Monterey. No, it's fine, Michael, back to NorCal, Roger. Skyline 175 airport's now going to be 12 o'clock and 1, 5 miles in the roll out of point airport inside. Yeah, we got the field site, Skyline 175. Skyline 175, thanks, clear visual approach, runway 28 left, contact minor 8, tower 1, 8.4. Roger, continue visual approach, uh, 28 left, and we'll contact tower 1, 8.4, Skyline 175. No, we're 5, 5, Romeo, go ahead. He's busy. <laughs> We can request the RNF GPS and key run with the left into moderate. The 500 was at the RNF and key. Exactly. RNF key initiating from Salinas uh, initial approach fix. The 500 Romeo turn right heading 090 vectors for Salinas. 090 I'm heading vectors for Salinas. 525 by Romeo. Start every day, November 53125 on VFR to Modesto, 2800, climbing to 5500. 5525 by NorCal, roger. NorCal, hello, Cessna, November 11816, 7000. November 11816, NorCal, roger, descend and maintain 5000. 5000, November 816. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Down we go. Not too fast. We have a few hills we've got to deal with here. But uh, we can start the descent. Kind of start to get our speed managed a little bit here. And as you can see, we did pick up one of our radials, but we are still a little bit too far uh, just a little too far north, I think, for the other. So um, we're going to have to rely on on vectors. Uh, one three five whiskey, turn right, heading one five zero vector to final. One this is going to create a very whiskey. interesting, very interesting debate in the Discord about how best to fly this. Really looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. United 1080 and Arcology, check in. 55 Romeo, clear direct Salinas VOR. Clear direct Salinas VOR, 55 Romeo. Allegiant 83, turn left heading 170. Left heading 170, Allegiant 83. Traffic's picking up up here, that's cool. I'm glad that this is a good airspace, a lot of fun to fly in, great controllers. I'm glad there's some people coming out here on a Saturday. Departure 173 Mike Charlie with you at 1000 head into 5000. 173 Mike Charlie NorCal Roger I done. Sir 
three Mike Charlie made our contact nine miles southeast I pass the intersection, maintain VFR, proceed on course. Proceed on course, maintain VFR. Three Mike Charlie. Now we're past board because we're 30, almost 35 miles. Board was 31 miles from Modesto. So we will be getting some vectors to final here soon. S the San Jose is kind of tucked in a little cool area here. I'm really looking forward to trying to make this approach. Fleetus VOR out of maintain 5000. That's Fleetus VOR cleared our Navy NQ runway 28 left approach. Again for 525 Romeo. Number 55 Romeo cross Fleetus VOR out of maintain 5000. That's the latest VOR cleared our Navy NQ runway 28 left approach. Cross the latest VOR add uh, and maintain 5000. We're clear for the Yankee runway 28 left approach for 55 Romeo. Air 55 Romeo, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles northeast on Pike by Nut Alton, decade 5600 and climbing. Looking for the traffic, 525 five, Romeo. Flask 1168, ascend and maintain 4000. Ascend and maintain 4000, 1168. Southwest 945, turn right, heading 270. Right 270, Southwest 945. United 1088 NorCal, are you on any frequency right now? Allegiance 83, expect to through the localizer for descent. The airport's going to be 2 o'clock and 1 5 miles report inside. Yeah, hey, we got the field inside, Southwest 945. So. Southwest 945, clear the visual approach, runway 30, runway 30, clear to land. Clear the visual and clear to land, 30, Southwest 945. Allegiance 83, turn left, left turn heading 360. 360, Allegiance 83. Sir, 35 Whiskey, turn left heading 100. 100, 35 Whiskey. He must control Oakland or something as well, as Oakland's just right there, keeping him plenty busy. San Jose's still pretty quiet, which is good. Um, Alaska 1168, turn left heading 100. Uh, uh, where the heck is it? Yeah, just two two departures, two arrivals. Yeah, I I there's this one downwind sim. Um, sorry, I just saw your link flash up here, and there's the Seattle airports. It's five airports for twenty four dollars. Very good bargain. And uh, if I survive the landing, I'll, I'll maybe have to go check that out. Continue left turn heading 280. <laughs> Aquafuncus, stay strong, brother. You can hold out only a couple more hours. There are eight Michael Beck traffic, 3 o'clock, 2 miles, type window, I'll indicate 4,500. Yeah, 4 8 Michael Beck traffic. All right, well, guys, I think I am going to. San Jose is 14-1. I'm going to put this guy back on here. And then uh, our ILS 
that we are hoping to shoot here is Monterey departure one seven three Mike Charlie one ten point nine. Doubt Charlie, that'll come in. Just, oh, it is in. Okay. Three, Mike Charlie, uh, so we've got that, and we want a oh, yeah, IFR. Five miles marked as VFR. My bad. Three o six. Three o six. Okay, Mike Charlie, clear to rack. Spin that in. Three o six. Nine thousand for now. Try to twelve o'clock. Three miles spin direction. Is a Cessna one seventy two at five thousand. Traffic in sight, climb and maintain 900,000. It's three much early. We're kind of on a, almost a right base right now. Left 68, to maintain 3,000, turn left heading 010. Left 010 down 3,000, Alaska 1168. Alaska 1168, confirm altitude 3,000. 3,000, Alaska 1168. Thank you, Allegiance 83, turn left heading 240. Allegiance 83, turn left heading 240. Left heading 240, Allegiance Approved. Local approach, yeah, you're flying 9834, is with you passing 13,000 for 10,000 to rest to wiggle. So we are below the glide slope, and left of the localizer, which is good. So everything should be over here at some point. It's telling us that we're we're still 20 miles away, so I mean we've got a long way to go yet. But it's nice to be able to pick up the. It's weird to be able to pick up the localizer this far away. Not used to that. 1109. Yep, that's the right uh, that's the right frequency. Don't lose hope, uh, Kenny Monster. There's a lot of lot of daylight still. A lot of things can can change here on these flash sails. Stop calling NorCal from the south. I believe that was um, Angel Flight 9834 confirmed. The permit of Angel Flight 9834 is now passing 12,500 direct wiggle. We got a little airfield down here. I wonder what we're flying over. 6,000 depart wiggle heading 280. Down to six. Well, we're going heading 280 the airport is 1 o'clock and 2-6 miles before the airport inside. Oracle approach 5 to 5. We just 1-5. We are straight in approach. Uh-oh. Uh, number 5-5 five, five, Romeo. You did the approach from Salinas, so... Our correction, yep, yeah, no, no, it's, um... Actually, I can give you the first rating. Clear straight in on Abby and Key Runway 28, left the crash. No procedure, sure, no hit, sorry. Could you get about that? Four Cal approach, United uh, 1088 with you at 4,300 on the Diamond 5. United 1088, North Cal approach, Danby Airport in sight? Uh, not in sight yet for United 1088. United 1088, are you following the, are you following the final approach course for the Iowa 28, right? Hey, firm. We got a 1088 cleared out last time. We had a prayer to traffic. We're going to go to parallel six miles west side of the Alaska 8028 3000. Clear for the ILS 28 right approach, and we'll watch out for that traffic for United 1088. Approach 5 to Romeo. We'd like to ask to do the procedure or straight in. Or 5 5 Romeo, unable cancel. Approach clearance right now for traffic. Turn left heading 110, maintain 5000. Maintain 5000, left 110, cancel. Allegiance 83, the airport inside. Here comes our localizer. Uh, that means we're pretty much a beam. Five miles to Norley. Allegiance 83, turn right heading 270. The airport's now 1 o'clock and 2 zero miles. Uh, I wonder if he's got us doing this. Turn right heading 280, the runway 28 left localizer. We're actually past the localizer right now, unfortunately. We need to make a right hand turn. Uh, November A16, I apologize about that localizer bus. Turn right heading 350, intercept the runway 30, left localizer. 
Right turn 350, not a problem, November 816. Anyway, 816, make that heading 330 to join. 330 to join the approach ILS 28, uh, sorry, ILS 30 left, November 816. 1088, runway 28 right, clear to land. 2 right, clear to land for United 1088. All right, so we're just going to grab it from the other side here, and we're still well below the glide slope, so that's cool. And uh, again, what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to execute this. Get on our heading. Get stabilized. Okay. And I think I'll wait till this until it starts moving on us, and then we'll push this guy in. Allegiant 83, airport, we 12 o'clock in one arm the nav track. Go then we arm the high sense. Then we pull it Allegiant back out. Confirmed. Yeah, the airport inside. And we hopefully airport. will intercept the localizer and also pick up the glide slope. Well, this plane is has flown beautifully, uh, right, three, five, whiskey, other than me just not, just not uh, doing a very good job of three, five, whiskey, uh, working the autopilot's done a really, really good job. What a great plane. Here comes, I believe, here comes the needle. Station three, five, whiskey, we have a traffic on site. All right, so, three, five, so we're three, coming three, in. All them here shortly. Flight 9834, the There's airport is 12 o'clock and 24 miles. Alternatively, there's an region. Now, uh, track, high sense. In one two miles in. Out of 4, Let's see what Perfect. happens. Uh, 35 whiskey, turn right, heading 190. All right. Heading over to try to grab it. Confirm you have the um, airport. Confirm you have that traffic inside. What I'm curious about, again, is the glide slope. I don't know if it flies the glide slope automatically or if I'm going to have to trim it down or use power or whatever, but let's, uh, let's start with the localizer. Vision jet. That was on sale already. American 1454. American 1454, Gartel approach, hello, at Eddie, cleared ILS, runway 28 left approach. Clear ILS, runway 28 left, uh, American 1454. I'm going to keep it here at about 90. I'm in no hurry. Again, there's not very many. I think I'm the only guy coming in here. I was unable to approach her due to sequencing purposes. Would you like to go back and do the approach? Well, this is a pretty area. Be fun. Yeah. We'll appreciate yeah. that. I, worry about I say it'd be fun to live here, but I imagine it's just crawling with people. Would you like to turn back to Hexar to join the approach? Be fun to visit. That could work out. Uh, that could work out. Five. Yeah. Five, five, Romeo, turn left heading 280, clear right, Hexar. All right. Two, just zero, about have the localizer. To, uh, Again, if we uh, missed approaches is uh, 250 and sorry 260 and if we go miss we climb straight ahead 1500 cross Clyde at or above 4000 cleared ILS approach runway 30 left Cessna 816 easy uh, United, how are you man I'm doing great Streaming ETS-2 uh, with the new head tracking unit. I, oh, baby. All right. When I get on the ground, easy, I'm going to try to find you, and we'll try to give you a little raid. I'd like to check that out. I should be okay to capture the glide as long as APR is select. Well, I don't know that I have an APR in this baby. This is what I have, the old... 300A Navimatic. Is there a different APR button that I don't know about here? Now would be a good time to, <laughs> to find that because here comes my glide slope. Yeah, I'm not holding that. I'm not holding that dang track very well, am I? I'd rather not hand fly this if I can just because I want to see, like I say, that 
if the, if the glide slope comes in. If it doesn't, I'll just hand fly the ILS, but... Come on, sweetheart. Quickest route available to to eight right. We have one engine flame out. United 1080, I'll get you there as soon as I can. Thanks. NorCal approach. United uh, 396 heavy descending through flight level 187 for 10,000. United 396 right. heavy NorCal approach. Hello, expect visual approach runway 28 left. Uh, <laughs> requesting a ILS approach for 28 left, sir. Well, I'm glad you believe in me, Easy. We're about to find out here in just another minute or two, because uh, we're just about on that glide. Number five, five Romeo. Would you like to approach straight in or the procedure turn? And again, I don't have a huge problem hand flying it. Yeah, I need that practice too. But I want to see if the you know, just just to see just to see if it if it happens. So here we go. We're getting close, guys. Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. There's the glide. And let's see. Watch the watch the VSI. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't look like the VSI is budging. Well, I take that back. Here it goes. Maybe. No, nope. I don't think it is. I think I'm going to have to just fly the needle here. That's okay. You know what? It happens. All right, so we need to let's uh, let's pull some power back. Let's see if we can clear to land. Three zero left. Number eight one six. Let's get back on the glide. I'm going to throw in a notch of flaps here. I love the old school flaps on this. You, ha you actually have to hold the flap lever and it, and it cranks down until you, until you let go. A lot of these guys will count like 1 1,000 for each notch of flaps. All right, so here's the challenge now, guys. Um, we have winds at uh, 16, gusting to 22. Which is uh, every bit of the probably the max that you want in a plane like this. And it's the nice part is that the wind is fairly well down the runway, so it's, at least it's not a terrible crosswind. Can I do the ILS for 28, please? No problem, expect ILS 28, right? Okay, we're back closer to the glide slope, but we slid off the localizer a little bit here. Uh, just double checking information. Gulf. Wind's now 3310, so the gustiness at least has gone away, so a little bit. It's going to be a little bit off our, uh, our right hand side. Actually, it feels like I'm having to crab significantly to the left here. The winds up here at 4,000 are a little different than they are on the ground, I guess. I do feel like we have the airfield in sight. I've said that before. Yeah, right there. I see. I see a couple of runways. We want number three, Mike Charlie, turn right heading zero three six zero vector left. To final. Right zero six zero vector to final. So we need to kind of keep going to the left here a little bit. We're sort of more lined up with three zero right at this point. So let's get ourselves over here, so we don't uh, make the already busy approach controller <laughs> a little nervous. 
man, it felt like we just really got blown to the right, even though the winds are are coming from the right. United Should be 10, idiot, confirm. Are you able blowing to us the other way. United All right, so we're a little bit United below the glide slope now. Put a little bit of power back in. Localizer starting to come back. So I was, uh, what was I, Kenny? Like a 197 landing at Modesto? Let's see if we can do better here. Taking the 150 into the International Airport. Other than some bad navigation or some cute confusing navigation. It's not been too bad. It's been a fun flight. Yeah, the 936 heavy descent and maintain 5,000. United 396 heavy descent and maintain 5,000. 5,000 United uh, 396 heavy. Okay, Canada 758 radar service terminated frequency change approved. Uh, to Unicom for Canada 758, thank you, and uh, see ya. Alright, 3 Mike Charlie, just to maintain 2000. I'm going down as fast as I can, 3 Mike Charlie. Okay, there's no rush, I just um, didn't uh, set the temporal altitude, so I was unsure if I gave it to you. Oh, 10 4, yep, 2000. Code 1, passing through 1000. Rock 1, but heavy radar contact, climb maintain, uh, follow up to 190. Up to 190, code 1, heavy. United 396, heavy turn right heading 110, back to the sequence. Right turn 110, United 306 Heavy. I kind of get the poppy lights a little bit there. We're getting closer, guys. We're still about nine miles, a little over nine miles out. I didn't, I guess, need to throw flaps in quite as early as I did, but that's okay. Charlie, turn left heading 350. Left 350, 3 Mike Charlie. Establish LS 28 left, southwest 1826. Southwest 1826, runway 28 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 28 left, 1826. Star Cal is closing in 10 minutes. <laughs> Those guys have worked hard all day long. United 396, heavy descent and maintain 4000, turn left heading 090. Left turn 090 zero 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 down to 4000, uh, United 396 Heavy. Now we're a little bit high now. Red Rock 1 Heavy, radar service terminated, frequency change approved. Have a good day. Over Unicom, code 1 Heavy. United 1088, turn right heading 200. Zero 200 zero. Zero zero for United 1088.
Negative R1, Sierra Lima, expect visual up air, runway 28 left, is going to maintain 5,000. 5,000, request the raceway, visual runway 28 left, 1 Sierra Lima. Uh, 1 Sierra Lima, at Salinas, join the final approach course of the raceway, visual, report any landmarks in sight. Okay, at Salinas, we'll join the raceway, visual, report the landmarks. United 396, heavy turn left heading 310. Left turn 310, United 396. United 1088, the airport is 2 o'clock and 9 miles. Inside for United 1088. United 1088, clear the visual approach, runway 28 right, runway 28 right, clear to land. Clear for the visual to it right and clear to land to it right for United 1088. Looks like we're getting to the downtown San Jose area. United 460, radio speed at 220. Uh, the high rises. 220 knots, United 460. Now we're starting to pick United up that wind off our right. 3000, left turn 320, United 306 heavy. American 1454, runway 28 left, turn to land. Where's land, runway 28 left, uh, American 1454. United 396, heavy turn left heading 310, intercept the runway 28 left localizer. 310. Uh, 396. Number 3, Mike Charlie, 5 miles in Zella, turn left heading 310, maintain 2000 until established on localizer, clear to left runway 28 right approach. Turn left 310 until maintained, or until established on 3 Mike Charlie. Three Mike Charlie, contact Modesto Tower, 125.3, we'll see ya. See ya. Holocaust off frequency, NorCal is going to be closing up. This has been a fun event. Frequency change approved. Thanks for flying off. All right, it's on us now, guys. San Jose traffic, Cessna 11816, four mile final, runway 30 left, San Jose. Boy, with that headwind, we've just kind of almost crawled in here. San Francisco traffic, United 1088, uh, one mile final, runway 28 right. Francisco traffic, United 460, four miles into set my left, two ways left. Second notch of flaps coming in. San Francisco traffic, United 396 heavy on a 12 mile final for two ways left. A big threshold on this uh, runway, isn't it? Holy cow. Deceptive. Uh, United 460, we are going to 28 right.
Whoa, a little bit of a bubble. Not sure who just ducked ahead in front of 3906, but beware noise abatement includes plane collisions. <laughs> ah, I ballooned it a little bit again, dang it. This wind is kicking my butt, guys. Kicking my butt. 271, yeah. Ugh. Ugh, that was that was wicked, man. Right down there along the ground. It was <laughs> really really gusty. Uh, I'm gonna just get the heck out of the way here. Oh well. We put her down and I guess have an interesting scenario to present in the Discord channels about how exactly should I do this. And uh, yeah, but that was good. It was fun. It, that's I like challenges like that. I like it when I don't know the answer and it gives me uh, a chance to learn a little bit. I don't have any ground or anything here, so I'm just going to go ahead and stay on Unicom. I need to cross San Jose traffic, Cessna 816. We're clear of 30 left, and we're going to cross uh, 30 right into the into the gate. To the gate. We're not going to the gate. What am I thinking? I need to know where I'm going. Okay, I didn't see. San Francisco traffic, United 396, five mile final for 28 left. Um. Oh crud, all the <laughs> all the GA stuff <laughs> was on the other side. Oh well. I would just come over here and get, get out of the way. Yeah, there's uh, all the hangars and transient parking and stuff. I should have just taken a left. Eh, that's alright. So okay. If you uh if you joined late, you I, I would go back like about an hour to about the two hour and 15 minute mark and I was presented with a situation a navigational situation that I did not know how to fly um, I'm slant alpha and I was uh, asked to fly direct to an intersection and I did not know I knew how to fly back and intercept the the course but I didn't know how to fly direct to the intersection ATC tried to help me in, in between uh, all the other things he was trying to do, it was really, really nice. But uh, ultimately, I just had to be vectored. But it, he kind of made it sound like I should have been able to do it with my equipment that I have on board. The combination of Nav 1 and Nav 2 should have helped me get a, uh, basically a bearing direct to that intersection. So um, that's what I'm talking about. Go back, watch it. Join me in the Discord. You see the link popping up every now and again. Um, and let me know how the heck I'm supposed to do that because I would love to learn that. That's something I do not know, and so that would be awesome. Uh, we're going to get down here to the end, and let me tell you what I have coming up. Um, we uh, we do have on Tuesday our, our regular stream days are Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for those of you that are new. Uh, it's a GA-centered channel, although we do throw a vintage jet in every now and again. Uh, so on Tuesday we have we'll, we'll, we'll actually be in a jet, a, a biz jet though, not the vintage jet. We'll be in the Phenom 300, uh, and it's training it up Tuesday. It'll be out there in Colorado, and there'll be uh, various airfields that we'll fly into and out of in the Phenom 300. Should be a lot of fun. Wednesday there's a virtual USA Flying Club event that's been created. And I'll have, to, I'll have to give you information about that because it was just set up. It's a free-for-all event, two controlled and four uncontrolled airfields. And it's going to be a bunch of 20 or so GA aircraft that are flying around and having a good time there. It's, I do know it's in Utah, but uh, you'll, have to, you'll have to head over to the Virtual USA Flying Club Discord to get some more information about that. Uh, then Thursday, we're back um, in the Just Flight Turbo Arrow. Back in the light GA, Boston has another fly-in, and so we're going to be up there messing around. And then this time uh, next Saturday, 
there is a Good Morning Seattle event, and I have not decided yet what airplane I'm going to fly. Uh, so I'll just I'll keep you I'll keep you in the loop on that. But that's the schedule coming up here for the rest of the week. In the meantime, let's see. Easy zero two five two is streaming something out there somewhere, and I told him we would go radium if I had the ability here. So let's uh, let's see. Do I have the ability? Where are you, Easy? Um, how do I? There we go. Is he? Yep, there he is. All right. Oh gosh, I haven't even followed him yet. Well, this is a no-brainer, guys. We're gonna go. He's got some new toys, and uh, he's got an ETS headset that he's using, ETS2 headset. So we're gonna go over. We're gonna we're gonna raid him. So hang tight just for a second here. Um, I appreciate everybody that uh, that stopped by today, and uh, Kenny Monster uh, Fire and Rescue. Yeah, I knew I was coming. Uh, thanks, Easy Zero Two Five Two, man. Uh, I will uh, uh, look forward to watching you messing around with your new looks like a little track IR type of VR thing. That's pretty darn cool. Um, and everybody else, Aquafunkalistic, Booty Wap checked in a little bit earlier on. Uh, it was good to hear from you again. Downwind Sim, Wookie, zero four two, um, and uh, anybody else. Jack Winston was here early on. Appreciate appreciate that. Steve PHL as well. Um, good talking to all of you. Thanks for hanging out. Have an awesome rest of your weekend, and hopefully I will see you uh, again. Did I get him typed in correctly? I don't see the usual. Oh, there we go. No, I must not have got him typed in correctly. Let me try that one more time. And by the way, uh, thank you. Everything, Brady, thanks for the follow, man. Thanks for joining, uh, and welcome to Prop Culture. Yeah, I'll be I'll be uh, excited to to get to know you, get to meet you, and oh there we go. All right, we got the raid coming in uh, five four three two one type of deal. Until next time, take care. God bless.